Welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Well, Carrie Brock and John Siegenthaler of Como News are moving to Nashville to co-host a weeknight newscast. To fulfill their contract in Seattle, however, the couple said that they would leave their hair behind to do the 11 o'clock news. Thirteen new women have come forward and accused Senator Bob Packwood of unwanted sexual advances. Packwood responded to the new accusations by saying, well, that's fine, but what about all the women who haven't come forward? No one talks about them. <laughs> A Chehalis dog won best of breed at New York's prestigious Westminster Dog Show. Coincidentally, the same dog has also been named this year's Miss Chehalis. <laughs> Cairo News is running a contest in an attempt to draw more viewers to their new out-of-the-box news format. A Cairo spokesperson says all you have to do to win is correctly answer the question, what the hell were we thinking? <laughs> A new House bill would make it illegal to have sex with the dead. It would still be okay, however, to buy the dead a drink and whisper in their ear. The weather front known as El Nino is back, causing dry, tepid weather in the Northwest. The front is named after KCTS, also known as El Nino, and famous, famous for its dry, tepid programming. Cairo's new logo is very similar to the logo of the gay pride movement. Although they're very offended by the comparison, members of the gay community say they can handle it. <laughs> Metro. Metro announced that it plans to lower fares for children between the ages of 5 and 17 to 75 cents. However, rides will still be free to children who flash a handgun upon boarding. <laughs> Finally, the Pierce County Assessor's Office has dropped quiet time, a two-hour block of time at the beginning of each day where no one could talk. They've replaced it with Miller time, a two-hour block of time at the end of the day where no one can talk, walk, or see straight. This has been the John Report. Thank you. We'll be right back.